In addition to Heart Month, February is National Children's Dental Health Month. Tooth decay, the single most chronic disease in children, and 90% of it, 90%, it's, is preventable. Here to help us is Dr. Annette Calejo. She's with, uh, she's a dentist rather, with a family practice in Springboro called Calejo Dental. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And you have some good tips on uh, really just how kids can stay healthy. I mean, first of all, that's obviously the first spot that uh, any bacteria can get into our body. Right, exactly. I mean, there's several things that we could do. I mean, the main thing right now is diet. You know, we want a proper diet. You know, there's so many things that are in the foods that we eat that we have no idea that are causing problems. Main things are, you know, a refined sugar or a fine flour. And I have some products out here that kind of illustrate some of these things that you have no idea that it does it. Um, because basically what happens is these flours are broken down very easily by the mouth by the bacteria and creates acid. Acid is what breaks down the enamel. And in addition to that, soda, which is probably one of the worst things. Oh, I can hear you shaking it Yeah, there's about That's a cup sugar. of sugar in there. Not only is there sugar, but there's also acid, and acid mm -hmm. also breaks down the enamel. So it's, you know, it's that prolonged exposure time which really causes the problem. Okay. So we really want to make sure that we decrease that that time. Makes in the sense. Mouth. I mean, kids love fruit roll-ups. They love, you know, the fruit juice and all that. But right. it is so high in sugar. Do right. you just recommend parents just introducing them to healthier snacks? Oh, absolutely. You know, we want to do whole grains. We want to do fruits. You know, I mean, anything that's kind of a package, refined thing. That's what I would really avoid. And so just kind of start those habits early, and the kids are not even aware of it. You know, if you start them early. Does it amaze you how many kids come in and they are they're so young and they already have so much tooth decay and, and what does that mean for the rest oh, of our life? Absolutely. I see it very, very early, especially like sport drinks. You know, parents don't realize, oh, hey, I'm rehydrating my kids when they're out there. Right. But you know, but what it's really doing is, you know, it's it's putting all this stuff into them. Yeah. So you don't want to allow sipping sugary drinks all day, obviously. You recommend right. brushing two times a day, right? Two times a day. And you know, I always say about two minutes. You know, I always tell the kids at my office is you want to do it for like the length of one song. So I tell them, hey, take your iPod out, put it out there and brush to it. <laughs> and it makes idea. it much more fun. Fun. Yeah. And obviously come visit you or a doctor uh, twice a year. Yes, twice a year because we can really catch things earlier. Okay. And you know, and obviously if you see anything before, we usually say about age three. Okay. Um, but if you see some, you know, obvious dark spots or something that doesn't look right, go see your dentist. And parents lead by example. Be good and uh, let your kids know if you're eating well, they will too. Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks in this so morning, much for Dr. having Kalejo. me. Great to see you and Thank some you. absolutely great advice.